be using the NYX HD Concealer in the color yellow. I'm just going to prime my eyes. You can use anything for this. You can use foundation. I'm using a concealer. Or you can use an actual eyelid primer. Today for our eyes, we're going to be using the Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette by Kat Von D. And this is the only palette that we're going to be using. And we're going to start out with this color right here. I'm going to take one as close to your skin color as possible or just like a white color so that way the colors we put on top of it will show true to color. Okay, we're going to go in with um, your lighter shades first and then you're going to go in with the deeper colors as you are getting closer to your lash line because we're really going to make our lid smoky and dark. We're going to put this directly in our crease. Same fluffy brush with all the colors throughout this look, but if you want a more precise um, smoky gradient effect, I would go down in size with your brushes. Like this one here is a little bit more open and fluffier than this one here. It's a little bit more compact. So this one's going to be good for when I go with my next color and I'm just going to want to concentrate it right in here. how this one this little brush is way more compact than this one this is gonna be perfect for getting right in the little edges right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the same color I just used on that one but I'm gonna pack in the color We're going to go in with any black eyeliner that you may have. You can use a pencil um, or you can use a gel. I'm going to be using a gel for this. And I'm going to take it on a little brush like this. Today for the color that's going to be on the center of the lid, we're using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in the color black is black. It's just your typical black gel liner. I'm going to place it right on the lash line. See where this white area is? We're gonna place it right there. We're not gonna do a full wing yet or anything like that. We're just placing it right in the middle. What you kinda wanna do is before this dries completely, you do want to go in with like a brush of some sort and we're going to go in with a black shade and we're going to pack it on the black. We're going to go back in with our little fluffy brush and we're going to blend in where the black is. Two hours later. We're going to do the same thing to the other eye. This look, you definitely want to do your eyes first because you will have a lot of fallout because you're using dark color. Fill in our pores. We're going to be using the Professional by Benefit. And what a pore filler does is it 
if you have enlarged pores, you're going to like put on your fingers, dab it, and then you're going to press it into your skin. Usually where enlarged pores happen, it's underneath your eyes, um, sometimes on your nose and your forehead. And that's what I'm going to do today. Just put a little bit on my finger. You can also use this as a primer and you can just rub it all over. You don't necessarily have to pat, but this is good for spots. This stuff is kind of unnecessary. I don't usually do this. But we're trying to Today for our foundation, we're going to be mixing these two. And this is the Maybelline Dream Velvet in the color 05 Warm Porcelain. And then this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the color 01 Creamy Vanilla. And I like to mix them because this one is too light for me and has a slight pinky undertone. And then this one is way too yellow. So whenever you mix them together, it makes the perfect shade for me. Today for our under eye highlight, we're going to be using this cream contour by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the Fair palette. And we're going to be using this color right here in the color Fair. And in the video, I apply it with my finger. But if you would rather use a brush, I would recommend using some setting spray on your brush first and then applying it with a brush from here because sometimes the cream can be hard to work with like the product itself is hard so rather than your finger warming it up the brush and the setting spray will definitely help sometimes when working with a cream product it's better to use your finger than a brush for first application then that way it helps the product warm up and melt into your skin especially this kit right here the product is a little bit stiffer and i'm going to go in with a small denser brush and buff it in from London to Taiwan, I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. We're gonna go in with our contour, and I don't want to apply this with my finger, so I'm going to spray my setting spray on my brush, and that's gonna help the product loosen up. color naturally neutral if you guys have any suggestions on other face powders I should try please leave them in the comments down below since I am looking for a new powder We're going to be using the e.l.f. contour palette and you can get this for $6 and it's one of my favorites. And we're going to go in first with this shade right here just to warm up the face and then with a little bit of this darker color to um, deepen our contour. Flowing through your mind 
today for a cream highlight. This is something that I don't always do, but I'm gonna be using this new Metaflow Multi-Stick in the shade Marigold Brown. And this, I'm not sure if it is limited edition or not, but it is by Wet n Wild, and it's something that you're interested in, and if you like it, definitely check out Rite Aid and get there as soon as possible because these were very hard to find. We're going to apply this first on our cheekbones and then we're going to go in and set it with a powder. It's probably going to take a while to get the dark color that you like, but it looks a lot better this way and the color is kind of doesn't slide around. Also from that same line is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. And again, you can get this at Rite Aid. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back with that, with that eye palette and we're going to smoke out this bottom lash line. a combo of these three we're gonna line our lips with this Jordana easy liner in the color Coco Loco then we are going to top it off with this lipstick right here it's in the color wicked and then we're gonna be using this color right here in the color vamp and I'm gonna show you some swatches this right here is the Jordana Lip Liner. This is the color Wicked, and then this is the color Vamp. Just for a second, I wanna talk about these two lipsticks. These are Lime Crime and Anastasia Beverly Hills knockoff lipsticks. If you wanna call them bootleg, whatever. But I do have several other lipsticks like these and if you'd like to see a video on them please like up this video and I can do either a lip swatch or just a regular swatch on my arm so just let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. If you like these types of videos go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave comments down below on videos you'd like to see and don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Thanks for watching and see you again next time. Bye.